All right, another CSE qualifier match in the round of 64. This time Ant Gaming is taking on Instant Reflex. And hopefully we'll be seeing a solid match here. Two teams that I don't believe we've ever seen. Instant Reflex is a couple of names that I somehow recognize. Mini Maggot and Okami, I feel like we've seen them before. I'm not sure, but it's possible. Let me check their stats and see. 1902. Is he playing any of these? Right, Excellent. Bronze, Ultimate Series Bubbles, that could have been it. Rhapsody. As I cover some match there. How about Okami? Hmm? Heaven Cycle 9, 10, yeah, that could be it. Anyway. Uh, Pestilence and Raps, the first two picks. Bands are out first, though. Let's talk about those. Chronos Puppet Master Tempest and Engineer getting taken out. Perhaps NG, the only one a little interesting there, as we almost never see him... I mean, honestly, we don't see him picked all that much anymore, much less banned, especially in the first banning stage, so... Uh, a little interesting, a little out of the ordinary, but uh, not super crazy, I don't think. Engineer is still a very powerful support here, one of the better dual lane mid mids, especially in particular combinations, and was for a very long time the number one pick overall. Uh, teams were just like, yeah, first pick NG, easy. Um, <clears throat> this side, this time, excuse me, Irex and Mini Maggot choosing not to deal with that hero, and they do eliminate it as a result. Um, Polyglot Priest and Pestilence, the first two picks here, so two heroes that I enjoy. Uh, Pesty, for some reason, falling off, and for some reason, I don't understand, because it seems like he didn't get nerfed really all that heavily. But he is still seeing a lot less play. He's not getting banned consistently. He's not getting picked consistently. But this game will be first pick. Polyglot Priest, a hero that I think has a ton of potential and has a lot of ability to uh, to do a lot in these games. Just so much heavy CC, similar to a Puppet Master in the support sense, more than a carry sense, but uh, not dissimilar heroes at all, really. And obviously, the ultimate does so much pushing. It's very good in team fights if you actually stay near it. And he's got a solid nuke as well, so that's good. Succubus will be their last pick. Could be a suicide, could be a support, so we'll see. They've got some versatility here. They could technically run Polly as either a support or a farmer. So they could both pick up two supports here in the last two uh, picks, and that would make sense. They could pick up two, they could pick up a short laner, they could pick up a suicide, they could pick up pretty much anything. The only, thing, the only role they really have locked down is that mid-initiated role with Pestilence. Um, but you could pick up another of those type of heroes and perhaps run them as a carrier, like a Kraken, maybe a Ravenor. Um, that's that's something that we, we've seen every so often. I don't think I'd like to see that, because it seems like you're doing the same thing with two heroes, but it's possible. Hellborn side picking up Rhapsody Bubbles and Sir Bensington. So Bensington once again going to be seen here, as he was not banned out. He'll exit all the way to the sixth overall pick, too. Very impressive that uh, they managed to wait that long and still pick him up. Obviously one of the more powerful suicides in the game. Uh, we may not see him in that role here because Bubbles almost always a solo laner. Perhaps he has strong babysit support, but there's... Uh, we'll see if that they actually pick up a jungler here. Um, Legion side cleverly banning out Parasite because it seems like Hellborn are going for that jungle lineup. Um, we still have Keeper of the Forest, War Beast, Solstice. Legionnaire is actually also eliminated by the Hellborn team, so maybe they're not going jungler. But we typically see Bensington Suicide. We typically see Bubbles in the solo lane. So that would seem that their uh, long lane and mid lane are spoken for. And then I guess they could try lane in the short. The other option is, of course, they do a lane Bensington. Or uh, they short lane Bensington or Bubbles and then have dual mid. Maybe um, with the short lane Bubbles, they have dual mid. They could have a dual lane long. They could do all sorts of stuff. It's just Bensington perhaps going to be seen in an atypical role for him just because... Usually we don't see him in the duel, and that seems like what we're building to unless we see a trial lane, which is still very possible. But the Legion side have finished their bans. Magmus, Parasite, and Solstice getting taken out, so two jungle options being eliminated here, as it does seem likely that the Hellboard could run a jungle option. Uh, Magmus is that mid-type hero, perhaps not a great fit for this lineup, as I don't really think that he'd be great in the short lane. I don't think Bubbles and Bensington really deserve a short lane. They don't need it. So sort of wasting it on them feels kind of silly. Um, and whether or not Magmus would really fit this lineup. He does provide another line stun, which is nice. The eruption on top of the kelp field would be good. Um, and he is more of a mid-game oriented hero, which is definitely true of both Bubbles and Bensington. So the timing would fit there as well. 
Um, so there are there are a few ways in which Magnus would fit in this lineup. I think the critical one where it matters, though, the, the, the critical one where he doesn't is the landing phase. It just doesn't seem to have a great place for him at this point. Um, they could run a support Magnus in a tri lane, actually, and that would make some sense, but uh, still not a huge fan of that. Oogie and Legionnaire and Bloodhunter getting taken out here, so the Hellborn bans very odd. Legionnaire seeming like a hero that they could use themselves. And getting rid of it here, Keeper of the Forest and Warbeast are still available, as is Ophelia, so there are some jungle options left if they'd like to pick one up. But uh, Legionnaire not something that they clearly want to play. Oogie and Bloodhunter bans, um, they say respect bans, so I don't know if these teams have seen each other before, and they're aware that, you know, this team likes to play that hero, this guy likes to play that hero. But that seems to be the case. Panda will be their fourth pick, and the Martyr the fourth pick, and then Bushwhack. So... We're gonna see a farming martyr or or a uh, 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 martyr, polyoid priest, and succubus could all be run as farmers or as supports. Two of them are gonna support. I'm not sure which ones. I would hope it's gonna be polywog and succubus. I think martyr as a farmer has a significant amount of potential, and as a zoning support, really actually he could help. So. I'm leaning to the succubus suicide here because they don't have a true suicide. So this is probably going to be a succubus suicide, martyr bushwhack bottom polywog priest and uh, pestilence middle, which are pretty strong lanes to be honest. Um, martyr is one of the better zoning supports in the game. It's going to keep auto attacking you, and if you hit him, he will eventually retribution you, and then you die. So that's basically his strategy: is yeah, come at me, bro, um, and I'll just kill you. But Ophelia and Panda the last two picks to the Hellborn side, so they do in fact go for the jungle. And that makes plenty of sense. Bensington almost certainly did set suicide, bubbles to the mid, and Rhapsody Pandemonium into the top lane, which is a very strong lane, obviously, with two good stuns. The setup staccatos on top of the cannonball for a panda, plus the flick and the flurries, and then Ophelia coming into the ganks from the woods. They should be able to pick up quite a few kills in this top lane, especially because Succubus is the ostensible suicide, although Pestilence heading top, and we'll see if that actually is the case. It looks like they're going to dual lane this, and it will be a, sh a mid lane polywog as a farmer, so that'll be interesting. And the only lane I got correct was the bottom one, where they have, it looks like Martyr and Bushwhack headed the bottom. Their ward, their pulls already blocked with a ward right in the middle of the camp. Pause comes out, but this is a replay, so haha. <laughs> so this will in fact be a dual lane top, which is interesting. And as they have no real great suicide option, I certainly understand why they would choose to do that. Bit of a pub train or TMM strat, I guess, uh, the 212 lineup, very typical, obviously, in TMM games. Kensington can be initiated on already with the jungle toxin getting put down, and will be forced to lane quite quickly. So Martyr, perhaps one of the few heroes that can actually zone out of Bensington. And this is usually not very easy to do because Bensington's happy to trade auto attacks until he gets the lance along up, and then all of a sudden it's death to whatever support tends to come after him. But Martyr, relatively tanky, and the retribution obviously means that the more damage he takes, the more damage he can deal. The dart continuing to be a problem for this Bensington now. He has bought a fair bit of regen with uh, four tangos left and one health bot. So he should be able to stay in here for a while even without uh, without help and continuing to take this harass. Top lane, Rapsy looking to drive the pull here, which was not blocked, but Succubus doing what she can to zone that Rhapsody out. Obviously putting the ward down here so they know what's going down. And they can see that Ophelia coming. So the stun rotation makes me think that the Legion, uh, the Hellborn side has a slightly better lineup, but there's definitely a little more burst damage there. Initiation with the cannonball and Sakatos and flight onto Pestilence. He's gonna have to drop his stun, but Pesty taking a lot of damage already, and he's gonna have to back up and drop some health for uh, regen because 
It's gonna be difficult for him to stay in this lane. Succubus here does not have the heartache, just trying to knock off that health, that uh, mana pot. But it could be in some trouble now all of a sudden with the Hannibal in, on top of the flick, and without uh, Succubus stun, that's gonna be it. And country. Or Pestilence stun, I mean. Succubus doesn't have a stun. So, like I said, the Hellborn here with the stuns is just a little bit more powerful. And they should be able to continue doing that. Especially as Panda's mana pool gets a little bit better. Off to the side here, Rhapsody continuing looking to pull the lane back and regain lane control. Having some difficulty in that area. Middle lane, Bubbles versus Polywog Priest. This should be a win for Bubbles. Uh, Poly obviously has the CC, which helps out quite a bit, but Bubbles has the new power really, really here. And uh, Polywog going for the Electric Jolt early on, which is probably a result of the lane. As much as anything. But Minotaur Ophelia coming in here, and Polywog will run the correct direction, so he'll be fine. Up top, Sleep is on Panda, and he will just leave. Psychos puts the Heartache out once again, but a bit of a waste there. Now not enough mana, so if Rhapsody comes back over here, they can kill the Succubus again. And she is grabbing the pole here, so that will get them some lane control back, and I cannot imagine this will not result in a uh, another kill, especially with the ward down here. Gotta be careful here, Succubus. Rhapsody continuing to pull the waves in and trying to deny as much as possible. Stop auto attacking the creeps, Rhapsody. It's going to take more time for. Or you're not going to get as much deny off. And it missed a few last hits there, but not the hugest deal. Off to the side here, Pestilence going to get caught by the Cicados and the Skeleton King net. He's in a lot of trouble. Panda over here looking for the flick and the Cannonball will find it. And that's going to be a dead Pestilence here. Looking for the next jump onto Succubus here. Cicados will be back up. There it is. And we'll see if they can actually do anything here. Perhaps you can have to back off with the tower digging a bunch of aggro. King net and Cannonball are there. So they pick up a double tap on top, well done there. A lot of diving going on, but certainly worth it for the pick kill on the Succubus. And they've lost lane control once again, but... They should be relatively okay with that, considering the kills. Hand off to a pretty fantastic start here, 400 gold per minute already. As he is currently sitting at 2-0-1. Actually, Bensington on bottom lane will get the kill on the Martyr. Martin dropping the Retribution a little too early, Lance Long will auto attack, and that's it, so. Bensington, man. Hero strong. Looking for an initiation once again here. Rhapsody coming in to the side and Succubus here in some trouble. Nice! He still gets the flick off somehow, and that was a mistake because they just woke up Panda, and that's going to be a death on the Succubus pretty easily as the ultimate goes off. Now they're going to try to turn this on to Pesty as well, perhaps. The cannonball is available, and yep, that's going to be it. So, Pesty played that fairly horribly. He woke Panda up with the stun, and then continued to attack him, despite the fact that the cannonball hadn't been used yet, thinking for some reason he could get the kill. Bubbles has the kelp filled here onto uh, Bushwhack, and a double damage, or an easy kill there. Draws a port from Puppet Master, or Polyglot Priest, but that's not going to be enough. And we've got a 7 to hero, 0 hero kill advantage here for the uh, Hellborn side. Bubbles still dd perhaps looking for a turn on a Martyr, and yeah, he's going to be in some trouble. Nice. Ultimate from Polywalk will be able to get the kill, and 
Bensington looking for the last of Martyr, won't find it. Puts the wings down. Bensington now running away. Retribution lost that attack and a double tap for probably lost risk, so. Bit too much of a dive there, trying to get the Martyr kill. And the first two kills here for the Legion side as they finally get on the board. Down 2k gold and 2.5k experience. And once again, we've got Nophelia that's just not farming all that well. And I honestly, I don't know at this point if it's just because we're for the most part seeing teams that aren't that good, just in general. And Ophelia is a really hard hero to play, so it's you know just a, a case of them not being the greatest and therefore not having the best farm. Or if new Ophelia just doesn't farm. And I think that I lean a little more towards the second option. I think the first one's definitely playing a role, but... Uh, I feel like Ophelia is not nearly as good a farmer as she used to be, because we consistently see Oaks with GPMs in the low 200s, and I'm just not used to that. You know, I'm used to seeing Ophelia in the woods farming pretty well and managing 300 pretty easily. After dance, we're going down there. Staccato stuns are on Pesty. He's looking for the stun. Are they going to find it, though? No other way to stop him. They should turn their attention to Succubus. They'll get the cannonball down. And that's going to be an easy kill. As Breaky is telling you to tune in. Meanwhile, off the side here, Pesty's going to get caught by the weed field. Will miss the stun. Staccato's there as well. And that's going to be a nice kill. So more diving. Meanwhile, on bottom lane, they actually do get the kill on the Bensington. He gets ripped. And Polywog off to a Cilaria killer streak. So. Really the only hero on the Legion side that's having even a, a really a, a good game is that Polywog Priest. And then Pan on the short lane at 450 gold per minute. Becoming a pretty serious problem. Top tower is gonna be heavily pressured. We'll use the glyph, but uh, not sure how long that's gonna prevent this tower from being hurt, and this is gonna be a dead dead tower up here in the top lane. No doubt. Martyr here gonna try to do something about it. But he's not gonna be able to solve the problem because Ophelia just pushes too hard. Nice sleep there. Destroyed a Legion tower. And Ophelia takes it off. Martyr now in a lot of trouble. Staccato stuns are down there as well, but they've got four heroes here all of a sudden, and Panda's gonna drop as he gets a little too aggressive. He was bustling too late. Although I don't think it would have mattered if he was dead anyway. They're gonna run to the jungle here, looking for it in their kill. Ophelia minions will spot all of them, and she should be okay to run. So 10 to 4 hero kill advantage here for the Hellborn side, and they're pretty firmly in control of this game. But by no means totally winning here. You gotta notice, uh, no doubt that Bushwhack is definitely the hardest carry in this game. So if we go late here, you know, if we go to the 40-45 minute mark, they should be able to substantially be ahead of the opposing team. Bensington and Panda are both solid heroes, but they're not going to be able to compete with the Bushwhack. Silence goes down there. On to Martyr. Bubbles will run away. Staccatos are onto him as well. One more auto attack. Are they going to be able to get this? Nice ultimate there. We'll kill the Bubble Cup. But excellent Rhapsody saving Bubbles. Meanwhile, Panda jumps in, kills a couple of heroes. They're looking for Martyr as the third, and he's not going to live here. As these Staccatos help finish him off, and Panda gets a double tap. So, real good bait there, actually. And a pretty fantastic Rhapsody ultimate. They actually picked out four hero kills. Hot ah! tower being pressured, and we'll draw a port from Pesty. Well, it's a start. Mid tower, in some trouble. And Ophelia's minions bust the raps against for his space but even mean this is the other dead tower. The Hellborn have destroyed a Legion tower. 500 gold per minute now for Panda. And he's got a portal key. So <laughs> 11 and a half minutes in, not even 11 and a half, 11 minutes in, and we're looking at Blood Chalice, Portal Key, Pandemonium. Uh, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. There's the PK and the cannonball on to two. And he gets uh, Hex down there, but that's gonna still get an easy kill onto Martyr. They're looking for Pestilence as the next target. He's also gonna drop. 
Norse Blessing gonna heal everybody right back up. Succubus is gonna be the next target very likely. Nope. Yes, in fact he will be. Nightfall goes on to him and he's dead. Lancelot gonna help out. Hellborn Courier actually dies to the ward, so oops. And we'll see if... Yeah, probably all gonna be in a lot of trouble. Staccato Sun's helping out there. Bushwhack gonna be able to sidestep his way on out, and that's gonna be another four kills for the Hellborn side with no deaths. Mid Tower now gonna be heavily pressured as well. And this should be yet another tower kill here. So 12 minutes in, we've got an 18 to 4 hero kill lead. And dead secondary mid tower. A panda who was farmed out of his mind. Ophelia is all of a sudden sitting at 400 gold per minute. And now I assume we're going to see a bot tower push. A catman for you. Bugs are still on Bensington here, so. Or another. Nope, oh, that's it for now. No surprise, towers are starting to fall pretty heavily here with the Ophelia Rhapsody combination. And they're just going to keep pressing their lead. Mid tower is also getting pressured though, as four heroes here from the Legion side are trying to take it down. They should be able to get it, but they're going to lose their secondary bot tower for it. It's maybe not such a great trade. Cannonball only hits the archer. The Legion have destroyed a Hellborn tower. Ophelia? Okay, there it is. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, mid tower drops thanks to the Polywog Wars, and so does bot secondary. And the only our tower now is this top one. Hasn't taken very much damage at all, but that's not really where you want to be. Sub the concede timer is uh Oh, we only have one tape we only have one hour tower left. That's just great. Congor, looks like it's gonna be the next focus. Should be a relatively easy kill. They've warded this up pretty effectively. Rev going down there. Ward of sight over here. And another one in the woods. So if the Legion side try to contest this, they Hellborn will know it's coming and they'll probably kill all of them. Hope you're missing. Token, presumably gonna go to Panda here. Has been slain. Nope, Bensington. Interesting. I wonder if that was intentional, or if uh, it was a troll, I don't know. They could be trolling at this point. 15 minutes is here, so we'll see. Actually, Nightfall goes down on top of the kill field, and this is a dead bushwhack. So, Hellborn perhaps looking once again to push in this middle lane and take a base tower. Bushwhack dead for another 25 seconds or so, so he should be back up by the time they're heavily pressuring the base, but... <laughs> okay. Panda just hanging out. Over the side here, Martyr getting jumped a little bit. And there's the jolt. Ophelia will be slept. Toggling the sleep. Nice hex there on Benjamin. He's actually gonna drop really quickly. And then get gripped. Nope. And then it was stopped by the sleep. So miscommunication a little bit there. Joust is still available, so he should be able to get out of this. Just barely. A nice wrap the ultimate will also save him. They do manage to take out Pestilence, but an excellent Martyr ultimate will save Bushwhack for the meantime. Cannonball onto just one. Martyr's going to be the choice, and he will drop despite the sleep and the Hex. 
So Bush or uh, Succubus and Polywog having some communication issues here. Bubble's gonna jump right back in. Will be gripped. And he's probably gonna dry, die as a result of that one more auto attack. He goes down, so ends up being a two for one in favor of Hellborn. Once again, Rhapsody jumping right back in. Bushwhack gonna take some damage. Cannonball goes in and he's gonna get hexed, so won't be able to get the flick off. And Bushwhack will be okay. Rhapsody gets boarded back by Ophelia, and it looks like the Legion side's going to be able to defend their base successfully. As Hellborn are sort of screwing around at this point. And to clean up some creeps. Pretty hefty wave on bottom too, getting pushed. Perhaps you're doing some counter warning here. And <laughs> Panda steals the last hit like a douche. Bubbles picks up a portal key here, and Panda is probably really close to his demonic breastplate at this point. Bensington looking for a staff of the master, that'll be hilarious. Obviously, it gives him global presence. Nullfire Blade on Ophelia. Legion side's items are not particularly impressive. We're wearing a sorcery on Polywog Priest. Uh, Pasty looking for the helm, but doesn't even have completed boots yet. Bushwhack finishes boots and is looking for a firebrand, but doesn't have too much behind that and the energizer. Polywag presumably looking for a portal key as his next item. Has 1600 gold saved up, so he's got five back available. Staccatos and everything. On to Pesty! They're faking everything, but having to jump right in there and get destroyed. Uh, the wards doing so much sleep onto somebody that was already ripped, so that was interesting. And they're gonna be able to get the kill on the pestilence pretty easily. Dyke fall down, and Benzington will run away. Ophelia doing what she can, trying to kill this mortar. Retribution goes down there as well. Lancelon hits Bushwhack. Nice ultimate from Rhapsody will prevent the further initiation onto Benzington, and he'll be fine. Shell surf there. Electric jolt goes down, and Polywog's gonna pay for that. Oh, feel like it's a null fire on a martyr. Few more auto attacks, and that's going to be the last hit, thanks to the judgment. Top player, tower push going to be going down. Actually, a succubus now for some reason hanging out. Poor decision making there. SD coming back in with the flight and the energizer. They're going to get to be able to get the kill on the Rhapsody pretty easily. Bubbles portal keys away. Joust away from uh, Benzington, but they're going to keep chasing this as Pesty is just super fast right now. And they might be able to pick up a kill here, but Benzington's pretty damn fast, and it's not going to happen. So they get some tower into their, they, they get some damage into the top tower, but nothing crazy. And they get pushed back a little bit as Panda died super fast, too. Those wards, if you get trapped in them, they will kill you. Staff the Master completed on Benzington, so he now has, he now has global range in this ultimate. Because that's just funny. Using game once against the Sand Wraith and a uh, Benzington with a stack was very annoying. Panda jolted and gripped here. He will cannonball himself away, trying to live. Continues to get slowed down though. And nice stomp there from Pesty. Panda's gonna die here, so. A little too far forward, not enough support, and the entire Legion team was there. So. Perhaps understandable that he died. Bubbles hasn't in his room. Perhaps looking for a setup under this Benzington, who will go to the Hardy camp here and farm away, and that's not going to end very well for him. Nightfall over here onto Martyr, trying to counter war, and that's not going to end well. So you can just see him flying across the mini map. It's quite funny.
Kensington gonna be next focused up here. Polywalk has the portal key, jumps in, Hex is gonna have the stun as well, and there's the grip, and now Benzington gonna be in a lot of trouble. Also gonna get gripped by Succubus, and he's dead. Perhaps not necessary, but they do secure the kill with it. So at this point, they're basically looking for, let's use all of five of our heroes to kill things, because that's what we have to do at this point. And Hellborn, to their credit, are going, yeah, maybe we weren't uh, quite as, we shouldn't be quite as cocky. And play this a little safer. Once again, Bubbles gonna back off, actually, before he gets jumped by Polywog. Hellborn wards are here, and they will be countered. DD Rhapsody, very dangerous. GPM chart still to tell, tell the tale of a, a substantial lead for the Hellborn side, of course. 15k gold and 11k experience. So it's no doubt that the Hellborn are, are massively in command of this game. They've only lost one tower. They've taken all six outer towers on the leading side. They've done pretty good damage to this top tower. Middle tower's been pressured a bit, but not too much. The side here. Polywog gonna get jumped by the Nightfall and the Cannonball, and he's just screwed. Pretty much nothing he can do to survive this, unless the Martyr comes in with an ultimate. He's still gonna die, but almost we're able to save him. Martyr also gonna drop here, Psychic is the next target. Pestilence gonna die in Life Stun with his new Portal Key, but Bushwhack not gonna be the same fate as Panda Ultimate helps take him out. So, three kills there. And that will be a mid tower push as the Ophelia Creeps will tank it. Glyph Fortification goes off. Bushwhack actually bought out. As Panda Capacitors comes in with the stun, nice wards get dropped there. They're gonna do a bunch of damage. Excellent Rhapsody Ultimate stopping everything. She's gonna be the first to go down. Benzichin trying to live here. She will not be able to, does not have the jumps available. And that push gonna be stopped very quickly. As the entire Hellborn team is suddenly on the retreat. So it costs a couple of buybacks here in Bushwhack and Polywog Priest, but they are able to get out of this. Shell Surf is there, plus the Cannonball. They're going to turn this onto Bushwhack. He's going to die. One more auto attack here for Succubus will do it, and that's going to be enough. Polywog Priest still looking for the initiation, has a portal key available. Oh, Ultimate from New Ophelia, though, and all of a sudden PK is less, or, uh, PK is less valuable for Polywog as he's trying to run away now. Pestilence looking for the stop, not going to find it. Cannonball misses as well. Shell Surf onto the side, and now Panda going to drop here. But uh, last auto attack will finish off Pestilence. Panda for Polywalk Priest will take the Null Fire Blade, and a couple more auto attacks are going to finish him. Electric Jolt there. Oh god, no. Hastrun's down here. Is Bubbles going to find it? Yeah, he might go for this now. Yep, he's going to go for this Bubbles. So There's Polywalk. It is probably going to get him. Oh no, oh no. Nightfall there onto Martyr, and they're going to turn their attention to him instead, so that's going to be a kill on the Martyr. But so close to finding that Polywog. It's unfortunate. That's up being a decent enough fight for the Hellborn side. They do lose everybody except for Bubbles, but they kill multiple heroes. They pretty much took out, like, you know, seven or eight kills or something like that over the course of those various long fight. And they still remain firmly in control of the game. Forcing buyouts, of course, very helpful. Congor is back up, and it looks like they'll be looking to take him out once again, get a token up onto somebody, presumably Panda this time. Although, Benzik to once again take it. That's, that's very annoying, so let's just not. Yeah, okay, you're gonna keep doing that? Then I'm just not gonna watch you. Okay, I'll watch nothing. So they're doing Kong Warp. Benzington's being annoying as shit, so let's not watch him. Now they're doing it, so now we can watch him. Uh, anyway, Benzington has a Mighty Totem here and a Vestment, so he could sell some something, or he could sell something and uh, pick up a token if he'd like to. Panda obviously has an open slot, so we'll see who it goes to, but it's definitely going to be a Kong Warp kill, and there's nothing Legion can do about this whatsoever. I sent Panda back so we couldn't get the token, and it's gonna be Ophelia who picks it up. <laughs> I'm assuming that was a troll. This Panda's gonna bring just pour right back. Clearly, Ophelia token, most valuable token. A couple heroes bottom lane here, pushing this out. And three more middle, so we'll see what they choose to do. They could go for the split push. 
as the straight up mid push hasn't been working out for them quite as well as one might think. But the Legion side going to focus their efforts over here. Will catch bubbles off to the side. Cannonball and nope, just the click. So first of all, they got to get the hex on, and they're going to get the nightfall here onto Pestilence. Shrunken head goes off. Easy kill onto Pesty. Kelfield stun is taken by Succubus. She's going to be the next target. And Pandemonium Ultimate going over here onto Polywog Priest. Perhaps the they're going to be able to help finish off. Uh, Massacre. Murder as well. Bushwhack can be the last villain available. We'll be able to sidestep out and he should be fine, but that's going to be a mid tower push. Five are available on nobody except for Bushwhack, so that's going to be a mid tower uh, and a Rax. The Hellborn destroyed a Legion tower. For back once again on to Panda, but this time it was necessary. I didn't neglect to mention that he uh, <laughs> picked up a shotgun. Offensive GG's main call here. A but they're probably not destroyed. wrong. A Legion Barracks has been destroyed. So, a bit of BM there from the Hellborn side, but there's the CC vote from the Legion. Maybe we'll get the Pestilence here with the Joust from uh, Bansington, but he gets slept pretty quickly. And Pesty will be able to go back Porky away. Let's see if they can catch. Ophelia here? Nope, not so much. Has a token anyway, so not a big deal. Bubbles off to the side. We'll get the Shell Surf off and get over the cliff. Rapsy's still trying to run away. She's in a lot of trouble all of a sudden. One more auto attack isn't going to do it. She's going to be able to just barely get away. Staccato Slim go down. And they will get the token off of Ophelia. Electric, uh, sorry, Tongue Tide goes off here on the Vengeance. But they're going to be able to off Polywalk anyway. The entire League team's so low. Marta will finally drop. Nightfall going to come here onto Bushwhack. He's not going to be able to stop that. And he's got no health. Bubbles, slow on attack, that's gonna be it, so. Well played. Now, Benzi can take too much damage and he's gonna drop this fight with Pesty Kill. So, top tower goes down, and I think we'll see the CC vote go through. Is this gonna be a second set of racks? There's really nothing the League team can do about this. They've been losing considerably for a while, and there goes the game, so. Good draft from Hellborn, good draft from Legion, too. A little bit better, I think, from Hellborn, but uh, they just got outplayed in this situation. It was uh, simply a case of the Hellborn team is that much better than the Legion team, I think. It's pretty clear. So, and that will do it for this game. Well played to the Hellborn team, a deserved win, and we'll move on to the next one.